Hello, Lou Hamilton from Autobel Elegance here in Cincinnati, Ohio. We are located in the historic district and on Montgomery Road at 9464. We do work on Facebook, Instagram, and X. I also have a website where I write a monthly blog. And thank you to those folks who uh, extended the, their best wishes out to my wife with her second heart transplant. So it's kind of special that I can get away for a day or two from Virginia to come up here and do the filming. Um, she's getting a little better, one step at a time, but uh, I'm coming up on my 72nd trip to Cleveland next week. And um, it's all part of living on the edge of science. And speaking of science tonight, I had a customer inquire about um, the different types of amplifier uh, amplification, how they work. And um, the traditional one that most people are familiar with is AB. Um, but he asked about my thoughts on Class D amplifiers. And I have to go back to what I've told people for many, many years that if I could get the best sound from a pair of tin cans and a string, then that's what I would sell. Um, I don't look at a product for its um, technical prowess, you know, state of the arts or those sort of things, or um, the cost that they put into all of the parts uh, to make a, a product. Um, Frankly, I've, I've listened to enough amplifiers that are the equivalent of a Hyundai automobile with a gold steering wheel. Terribly expensive and performance is just mediocre. So um, we don't, I don't look at things that way. I, I look at it from the standpoint of what does it deliver? How much enjoyment does it bring to people? And is it really musical? So um, our early experiences with Class D amplifiers um, and this goes back 15 or 16 years ago. Um, the only word I can use for it was abysmal. Um, and the first one that we had experience with was the first version of uh, Class D amplifier from Rotel. Now, now keep in mind things have changed, so I'm not picking on that brand, but their first attempt at a Class D amplifier <clears throat> well, if I combined it with what else they sold, which was B&W speakers coming out of equity, it worked, and it worked all right. Not spectacularly, but it was not incompetent. Um, where it revealed itself pretty dramatically is when we turned around, took that amplifier, and put it on a pair of magna pants, and just everything just collapsed. I mean, um, the only way of describing MagnaPans being driven by that original Class D amplifier from Rotel it was that it was AM radio perfected. It's a bit the only way I could put it. Um, it was that was it. So uh, that we had one of those in, and that was it. And it's like you know maybe another day, you know it'd be fine. We now sell a product from Belcanto, which is principally Class D amplifiers. And it is one of our finest musical pieces that we sell in the store. So it, it's not about the way somebody does things as much as how well can they accomplish it with the way they've chosen to do it. Um, of course, we still have AB amplifiers and um, they still dominate as far as the market, but you're seeing more and more Class D. Um, but I have to warn you very clearly that you're seeing this new class of amplifiers uh, being marketed as if it were uniquely special and uniquely better. And as everybody already come, came to understand that not all AB amplifiers were the same of equal quality or consideration. Uh, you need to look at anybody who says this is a Class D amplifier saying, well, okay, that's how you get it done. How does it sound? So don't assume merely because it is a one class or another um, of amplification 
that it's, it's going to be any good. Uh, and I'm starting to see the early signs of this type of marketing for Class D. And yes, it is better than it was a long time ago, but it's the whole package and the quality of execution that makes the difference. So, you know, I, I know it's just going to be a matter of time before you're going to be able to buy, you know, a 150-watt Class D table, you know, table radio that only plays FM, I got, you know, I guess. And, you know, this is something going to be special, and they'll sell it for $4.99. You know, and I'm sorry, but, I mean, <laughs> um, you got to be aware of how people market things. And um, I've seen a lot of fads come and go. Uh, I am pleased to see... Uh, the advancements in some of the Class D designs. Um, they're very efficient power-wise. Um, they are a blessing to us because they do not get hot and typically can be fairly small in size, which makes them um, a lot easier to you know, place in a customer's home, including cabinetry. Um, when you get into the traditional AB amplifiers, particularly if they have vacuum tubes, then you have to be very careful about the issues of heat um, and things like that. The reliability that we've had from Bel Canto has been second to none. Um, I'm still thinking about if we have actually sent a piece in for service as opposed to when was the last time. So if it's done well, the execution uh, can be both musical and very reliable. So I, I'm not going to promote one brand of, uh, or one type of design over another. Um, I know that there are some people who have a preference for the technology that is used to create them. There are a number of fans that, uh, and I think appropriately so, um, really enjoy the performance of uh, vacuum tube AB designs. Uh, if they're done very well, they're a delight to listen to. But equally, there's very good solid state designs as well. Um, a little different in its tonal presentation, but equally as delightful. And, you know, to bring you years of enjoyment. So that's kind of my take on the difference in, in, in quality. I mean, Honestly, I could turn on uh, a Bell Canto piece and play it, and people are not saying, oh, that sounds like a Class D, or it sounds like this. They don't even know. They're just into listening to the music. And that's what's ultimately really important. So um, don't hesitate to listen to Class D if it's presented to you, but... Um, don't assume because it's the new kid on the block that it's also the best kid on the block. Make it stand on its own and prove its worth. In our case, we think Bel Canto does that. I can't speak for other product lines. Um, I'd love to be able to have listened to everything, but I have other things to do than listening to every amplifier ever made by man. You know, I got better things to do.